simulator kuja characteristics of kuja tossim tiny os mod simulator tossim architecture kuja kuja simulator is the efficient simulator that is used for wireless sensor networks kuja is the default simulator for contiki operating system that helps to simulate the wireless sensor network in addition it helps to do the performance evolution contiki is a lightweight operating system that is developed mainly for wireless nodes the modes that are developed by the contiki offers many advantages contiki offers a java based simulator called as kuja which is used to simulate the wireless sensor kuja simulator is more flexible so that many parts of the simulator is replaceable and extendable the parts of the simulator like simulated node hardware plugins and radio medium can be replaced characteristics of kuja scalability efficiency extensibility flexibility wireless sensor network has the powerful tool called kuja which it can be simulate the idea before it is implemented in real time contiki kuja wireless sensor network simulator mainly used to simulate many wireless scenario contiki kuja wsn simulator Contiki Kuja is the best simulator to simulate any wireless sensor with its own property. For example, if we are designing a wireless sensor network that detects the earthquake, the sensor has its own property like lifetime, withstand ability, capacity, and many more. We can design this wireless sensor with the same property in Contiki Kuja. When compared to other simulators, Kuja is developed purely for wireless sensor networks. In addition, Kuja is more flexible to cha change the properties of a node so that we could implement our own idea exactly. Wireless sensors play important role in IoT, Internet of Things, where Contiki operating system were developed mainly for iot devices kuja is a simulator comes with the contiki so we can use the kuja simulator for simulating any wireless sensor networks here seen is a simulation which is done by kuja the contiki network simulator Tossim Tiny OS Mode Simulator Tossim is an open source operating system especially developed for wireless embedded sensor network There are few hardware platform available for Tiny OS some commercial and some non commercial Tiny OS realize includes a simulator called Tossim It is specially 
for Berkeley Mica Mode platform. Torsum is an emulator rather than a simulator as it runs actual application code. Simulated application code can be transferred directly to the platform, but it might not run in a mode as it run in simulation due to simplifying assumption in TOSIM. TOSIM architecture. The figure shows the working flow of TOSIM. The TOSIM architecture is consisted of five segments, frames, components, models, services, and events. TOSM is a very simple but powerful emulator for WSN. Each node can be evaluated under perfect transmission condition and using this emulator can capture the hidden terminal problems. As a specific network emulator, TOSM can support thousands of nodes simulation. This is very good feature because it can more accurately simulate the real-world simulation. Besides network, TOSM can emulate radio models and can code executions. This emulator may be provided more precise simulation results at component levels because of compiling directly to native codes. TOSM is a bit-level discrete event network emulator built in Python a high-level programming language emphasizing code readability and C++. It can run TOSM on Linux operating system or on SiteWin and Windows. TOSM also provides open source and online documents. Developers had set four requirements for TOSM. Scalability, completeness, fidelity, and bridging. To be scalable, a simulator should manage networks of thousands of nodes in a wide variety of configurations. To achieve this, each node in TOSM is connected in a direct graph where each edge has probabilistic bit error. For completeness, a simulator must capture behavior and interaction of a system at a wide variety of levels. And for fidelity, a simulator must capture behavior of a network with subtle timing of interactions on a mode and between modes. Requirement for bridging is met as the simulated code runs directly in a real mode. The goal of TOSM is to study the behavior of tiny OS and its application rather than performance metrics of some new protocol. Hence, it has some limitations. For instance, it does not capture energy consumption. Another drawback of this framework is that every node must run the same code. Therefore, TOSM cannot be used to evaluate some types of heterogeneous application. Programming beyond individual nodes, Sensor Actuator's network system offers some unique advantages. Dense networks of distributed sensors can improve precise signal-to-noise ratio by reducing average distance from sensor to physical phenomena. In network, processing and actuation shorten the feedback chain and improve the timeliness of observation and response. Untethered network node and infrastructure, less mesh network topologies reduce deployment cost. However, the greatest advantage of network system are improved robustness and scalability. A decentralized system is inherently more robust against individual node or link failures because of network redundancy. Decentralized algorithms are also far more scalable in practical deployment. They might be the only way to achieve the large scales needed for some applications. Because of cent decentralized system, spatial coverage and multiplicity in sensing aspect and modality, the detection, 
classification and tracking of moving non-local or low observable events require cross node collaborating among sensor target tracking as a motivating example tracking is a canonical problem for sensing net sensor networks and essential for many commercial and military application such as traffic monitoring facility security and battlefield situational awareness given a moving point signal source or target in 2d sensor field a tracking system's goal is to estimate target state histories such as spatial trajectory on the basis of sensor measurement from a tracking expert's point of view each sensor node provides a local measurement useful in est estimating the target state however in most cases only a relatively small subnet of sensors contributes significantly to the estimation owing to sensing range limitation in this case a good solution is a leader based tracking scheme such as information driven sensor querying idsq to fuse information from only the sensors that provide high quality measurement the figure illustrates at any time instant t the idsq information driven sensor querying designates a single node located close to the target as leader the leader node fuses these high signal to noise ratio measurements and updates it current target location estimate referred to as belief for more sensor type owing to physical properties of signal propagation the sensors with high signal to noise ratio will be within a limited range of leader node so we can minimize the communication cost and latency for gathering sensor data as the target traverses the sensor field and the belief evolves to follow its motion the most informative sensors might no longer be those closest to the current leader a nearby sensor might then be selected to replace this leader on the basis of the updated belief and a criterion combining resource constraint with some measure of sensing utility the current leader then hands off the belief to its sensor which becomes the next leader at time t plus delta when where del is the communication delay the process of sensing estimation and leader selection repeats in the figure collaborative processing in a leader based object tracking scenario scenario is seen as a vehicle moves through a sensor field nearby sensor detects it an elected node aggregates data from active sensor and migrates the information from node to node as the vehicle moves the sensor node collaborates primarily to improve sensing accuracy and acceptable estimation quality might be achieved using only a subset of sensors one node the leader plays a key role in fusing others sensor measurement if no leader is present all sensors that form the contour are equally important each node might locally update and repair its observation of contour section but the global state can only be assembled from observation of many nodes along the entire contour hence system designer must explicitly write code to maintain sensor connectivities in the neighborhood to discover the best node for handoff to invite neighbor nodes into the group and to handle communication delays and failures